Hello everyone, in this video we're going to extend our diagram a little bit with Chip King coming into play. So as you can see here in the diagram, we're going to have Chip King in our Docker network. And we can push our trace here to Chip King through Chip King 9411 slot API slot V2 slot spans. So our mission is now configuring our Hotel Java agent to set Chip King as an exporter and where to export data to Chip King actually through this API. Okay, let's start setting up our chipkin. Technically, we just need this image of a chipkin chipkin latest and export this port, 9411. This port is used for both UI and pushing chase data as well. That's why we need to export it to localhost. We will put it under jiggered. So the container name is Chipkin. The image is of a Chipkin Chipkin latest. And we need to export port 9411 to 9411 localhost. Okay, then let's set depend on in our server. To make sure our infrastructure be ready before our service starts. Okay, so now we need to set chicken as an exporter. And to do that, we have this documentation here, so chicken exporter. And to set chicken as exporter, we need to declare hotel traces exporter to chicken. And another configuration is we have to specify the chicken endpoint to point that this is place we need to send our trace data to. So, for our case, need Chipkin. As you can see here, we already have Jigger, but we can also add another exporter, Chipkin. So by doing that, we want to put our trace to both Jigger and Chipkin. Okay, another is Hotel Exporter Chipkin Export. This one, and. You see, we are going to use this one here. So, chipkin container name pop 9411 API v2 span. So, by default, it is local hot because we are in the Docker. Docker network, so that's why we're using a doc a container name here. Okay, API v2 span. Okay, let's run it. Docker compose up my deed. Okay, just Remember that now we are sending our trace to both Jigger and Chicken. Jigger through this port and Chicken through this port. Okay, when we have Jigger at this Jigger local hot. All the servers. And we have local hot 9411 Chicken. Worry. So same as Jigger. We have some database repairment. But now let Jigger local hot ATAT ordered. Okay. Five trace again. Okay, don't care about that. This is what we expected. This one is our API we just sent orders one. See the similar thing in Chipkin. Okay. So this is the ordered one we just sent as well. So basically now we already send our trace to both Chipkin and Jiggered. 
imagine that your service now being scaled to, for example, 10 instances, and you are using an enterprise observability backends like Datadog, AWS, for example, and they charge you based on the number of requests that you sent. So 10 instances send a ton of requests to Datadog and AWS, then you have to pay a lot. And our microservice is not only one service, right? You have a lot of services. So for that case, open telemetry collector comes and search. But let's check it out in the next video. Okay, thank you so much for taking your time watching this video and the series. Hope you can learn something new here and see you in the next video. Happy cutting.